Hey everybody, and welcome back to the weird world of WiiWare. Now, today, I'm gonna go with whatever my heart tells me, and right now my heart's telling me it's time for Big Bass Arcade. I'll be real here, that splash screen not giving me much hope, but wait, this is Big John Games? Never mind, I have full hook trust. Plus, it's, it requires a nunchuck, which means they at least have to know something about how the Wii works, right? It, it can't be that bad? You know, this soundtrack's not too bad. I'm starting to have a little faith in this game. Oh, good God, it's one of these keyboards. None of these are ever responsive. All right, let's go with Jimbo for our name on the save file, just because it feels right. Why, in God's name, is Shift Caps Lock? Why would you do that? Why would you ever do that? Who, who would ever? Why? <laughs> What's your problem? Look, I've had about enough of all of this name selection BS. Let's just play the actual game and pray it's good. Wait, what? I'm, I'm clicking my Wiimote forward, but then it, nothing's happening. What? What? Wait, what? You have to pull the Wiimote up to throw your fishing line. Of course. How intuitive and making sense it, uh, that is. Of course. Holy crap, it's a fish! Okay, we got this, we got this, we got this. I think the game said you have to, like, rotate the nunchuck stick or something to, uh, reel it in. Uh, we'll be fine, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. We got this, we got this, we got this. Wait, wait, what? It's, it's barely doing anything! I'm, I'm spinning the stick as fast as I can here! You've gotta be kidding me. You can't be serious. I, I lost it? I, I had it, I was doing everything right! Why? Why? Oh, that makes perfect sense. You have to shake the nunchuck. Of course. Of course. Because that's so fun and intuitive. Cause every Why? Who, who made this? Why would you ever make this? Who made this game? Why would you make this game? Big John, you betrayed me. You know, this leaves me with only one choice. We're going to do it. We're going to catch a single fish. We can do this. Well, well, you know, that is if the game decides to work. I, I hate that just flicking the Wii remote, you have to do it twice, because it's like you press, it's as if you, it's just pressing A, and then you have to press A again for the power. So why even make it a motion control? Like, what's the point? Why? Why isn't it working? That's it. Uh, I've had about enough of that one. Uh, how about... Mm, let's go with this one. Kokoto Fishing Master. I mean, it's gotta be better. Like, you can't have a worse fishing game than that. Alright, alright. Another nunchuck game, but judging by the art, this one seems to have a ton more charm and passion behind it. It's gotta be good. Like, I, I know for a fact this is gonna be a good one. I can feel it. I, just please give me a good one. Please. Now, of course, it's my responsibility to play on hard, because I'm not a wuss, and this is clearly a kid's game, so it can't be that bad. And it's just gonna be like a fun gamer challenge for a gamer like myself. Yo! This game's got mad charm! I actually really like this art style. Long, a very long time ago in a faraway country, Geo the Fish King reigned over a world he loved. Aw, I, I like this. One day he was chased out of his kingdom by his son, the wicked Zeron. I, I presume we're gonna fight Zeron. I, I assume that I, Kokoto, uh, he took refuge in the Abyss Kingdom where he decided to sleep for eternity. I think you mean died. He created a magical kettle. I think we call, we call that an urn around here. He gave the task to a small fairy to watch over his kettle. I presume that's that's us, Kokoto, the four devil. One of the four devils. The red one. All was well for- How is all well? Didn't his evil son take over the country? Isn't that a thing that happened? That doesn't make very much sense to me. The only one able to save the situation was Kokoto, one of the four little devils. God, I love the storybook aesthetic. Ah, oh, this is so cute. I think, I think we finally found a good game. I think we found a good game. I don't want to count my 
my fishes before they hatch. <laughs> but I think we found a good game. Uh, wait. Nope. Suddenly it's ugly. Suddenly it's bad, ugly, bad graphic game. Wahoo. Actually, now that we don't have to look at the stupid, dumb, idiot, ugly fairy and a stupid, idiot, dumb, ugly fairy face, you know, this game does look kind of charming. Like, it kind of gives me Wind Waker vibes. And I guess the dialogue is kind of Banjo-Kazooie-esque. May maybe it isn't that bad. Maybe I was judging it a little bit too soon. Wait, wait just a second. Wait just a gosh darn second. Now, it didn't tell me exactly how you're supposed to reel in with a nunchuck. Is it trying to tell me that you have to spin the nunchuck? Like, on an, on its axis? To, to reel? Why? Why? That's, that's not, you have to rotate your wrist 360 degrees? That's not something the human body can do! Why? Why? None of these games have feasible control schemes. This one isn't even possible for the human body to do! Wait, what? It's an actually engaging fishing system? Like, you have to just move your cursor over it. Oh my god, this is actually super interesting. Oh my god, what if the game is good? No. I, I, I swung the Wiimote. I did exactly what it told me to, but God said no, because of course he did. That's it. I'm done with Kokuto Fishing Master! Kokuto Fishing Master! Be gone! Get it out! I don't want to play this game! Well, it looks like there's another game in the Kokuto series. Now, the only logical jump from Kokuto Fishing Master, a fishing game, would be Kokuto Platform Jumper! A platformer! Of course! Of course! We might as well just finish the Kokuto series so I can never think about it again. Let's just do it. Huh, guess this game has some kind of weird multiplayer mode. Doubt I'm ever gonna revisit this game for fun, but it's good to know. Looks like they introduced a brand new mechanic, a brand new innovation in video games. Having multiple save files. You know, that's a bit of an innovation. I'm just gonna play on easy. I learned my lesson from the last Kokuto game. Well, I have news. Uh, I guess you can consider this good news. All charm and life in the previous game, or maybe it's later, I don't know the order they were released in, but it's not here, which means I can shamelessly, unabashedly destroy this game and just bully it. Because frankly, this game is disgusting. It's atrocious. Uh, the textures are bad. Like, the models just look ugly, man. They, they look gross. They make me want to puke. Now, giving this game a close look, you realize this is a mobile game. Like, that one crappy mobile game that we've all seen in ad for. Like, you know you know the one I'm talking about. I mean, I guess you know exactly which one I'm talking about. The one that's just Kokuto Platform Jumper. Wait, I have a double jump? I mean, I, I guess I have a double jump. Sick! Oh my god. My double jump doesn't reach the platform. Of course my double jump doesn't reach the platform. Why? Why? I don't have a triple jump. There was no tutorial. The game just threw me in there and expected me to fend for myself. It's, it's like if you have a baby and you throw it to fight wolves. Why? Why? Oh, I guess I have a projectile move. It doesn't give me any momentum though, so I don't see how that could help with our situation. Do I? What is this? What is this bridge move? I, I can't walk on it. I. Er, well, I can, but I, but I can't, but I can. Oh, you can't jump on it. You have to walk on it. Why? It's it's not like there's some is there some secret glitch tech you can do if you jump onto it? Uh, why? Maybe that's an upgrade you get later in the game, but I'm not playing it for that. Why? What did that fair? What did that fair even do? Th remember, I didn't like skip a tutorial. There just wasn't one. I mean, I guess you could say, oh, Daniel, go into the pause menu, look at your controls, but, like, I, I expect games to be intuitive, or at least tell me what to do, and this one just didn't. Why? Why, why would you make your game like this? Make your game understandable. Make your game an experience for the player so that they understand how to do it. If your game is only playtested by the devs who made the controls, of course they're gonna know how to play it. But then again... I doubt this game had QA, man. Alright. 
you know, final verdict, now that we're finally done with this miserable game, I think that the Kokuto series can Koko Komit Seppuku. Now, let's just move on to something, please be- how about this one? Uh, oh my god. Eduardo the Samurai Toaster? Of course, Eduardo the Samurai Toaster. Perfect, makes- makes complete sense. Of course! Eduardo the Samurai Toaster, why not? Let's just- Oh my god. Is, is my Wii supposed to be doing this? Like, is the screen supposed to be vibrating? Like, I genuinely can't tell. Also, can we create a save file? I mean, I, I guess you can. I mean, I, I feel outnumbered here. I guess I really just don't even have a choice now, do I? I'm being peer pressured because this is apparently a group of people. This game, it looks... It's weird. It just, it looks nice, but it's like uncanny. And it's just, the controls feel nice, it's kind of like a shmup, uh, classic, almost Mega Man-esque. And there we go, it crashed, but like, it possesses a strange, eerie sort of beauty to it. 10 out of 10! 10. 10 out of 10, if I can figure out how to make my Wii not crash when I play this. I could see me doing a whole playthrough of this, like, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. But, uh, next up... Uh, we can't have a WeWare episode without a racing game, so let's go with <laughs> Fast Racing League. That's like if the Street Fighter was called Violent Fight Arena. <laughs> Unfortunately, my Wii Wheel is in the other room, and I'm way too lazy to go get it, so we're just gonna make do with a Wiimote. Yo, this game looks mad good! And it's got me integration, which means they definitely at least know something about how the Wii works, like, even more than Nunchuck games, which is a really good sign. And the game's giving me, like, mad F-Zero vibe. Now, of course, we're gonna go with Georgia Costanza. There's no reason we shouldn't. But, oh my god! Is this a good game? I think we finally found it! Something long thought impossible! A good WiiWare game! Even since the medieval era, scientists have been saying it's impossible. Paracelsus von Hohenheim himself was quoted as saying, There's no such thing as a good WeWork game, and yet here we are! This is beautiful, and it gives me mad F-Zero vibes. This is a spiritual successor F-Zero fans have been wanting! God, I love this color change mechanic. You have to switch colors based on what part of the map you're on to be able to utilize different boosts. If it weren't for the motion controls being kind of jank, like, this would be one of the best racing games I've ever played. If this game got another chance on modern consoles, this really could be the spiritual successor the F-Zero fandom has always wanted. And now you can hoard your boosts so that you can use five at once to use a boost anywhere, or have a situational boost uh, that only works with boost pads on the map by using one. That's so cool! God, I love this game mechanic! Honestly, I'm really glad. Today we found what I can consider a true hidden gem on WiiWare, being Fast Racing League. Like... Even though it's a WiiWare racing game, it had so much more passion than some garbage like 3D pixel racing. What? What was that? Oh god. Some kind of bad game demon must have torn a hole in the fabric of reality. It's dragged down the very concept of a good game into the underworld. There's only one way to repair this singularity. It's time to descend. <laughs> 